Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about lessons. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, I'm looking to go to another company where I can take my skills to the next level. How can I discern what company has a good set of developers who I can learn from? What kind of research can I do? By the way, I'm a junior developer who has been in the industry for one year. I'm the only developer in my company and learn everything on my own. I'm really passionate about the field, but sometimes I don't know if I'm doing things professionally. Thanks again. If you are the only software developer, it's very unlikely. Like I mean, shit, you you are working as a you are working as a software developer, so of course you're doing things uh, to to an extent in a professional manner. Uh, but it, based on what you're telling me, it's unlikely that you will get as much personal development as you could be getting but I don't want you to think that you're not getting any because experience is experience even if it's just you doing your own thing you're being paid to do software development the thing that I try to preach a little bit is that uh, if you really w it's because I've seen it so many times guys it's so tragic when you have uh, you have software developers who come in for an interview and some of them have a scary amount of years on their CV and they don't even know the basics of what the majority of companies are looking for and they, I mean, unless they're lying on their CV, they claim to have been working for all these companies. And I, I could come back to the same thing. How can you spend so many years in the industry and continuously get into companies where you never do any of the stuff that a mainstream IT company would expect from a software developer? And this is why we turn people down, like all the time because they simply are out of line, uh, uh, they, they've diverged, or like they, they simply lack an understanding of how mainstream software development works. So what I would tell you is that if you have one year of work experience, uh, any job that you can find, where you can work with a team or some like a, a group of other developers who have like around five plus years is going to teach you something it doesn't matter which company it really it really doesn't matter what company you go to or what project it is it can be practically anything i mean i suggest usually that you in the early days at the very least try to get into companies where you get to st work on a, like a standard crowd application an e-commerce site or like something similar to that just because it's the basics of the basics uh, for the vast majority of web developers at the very least but for you with so like you don't you, you have almost no experience uh, in in the industry so you can't really do much in terms of research because you don't know what you're looking for you haven't gotten to the point where you can evaluate a a good place of work or like if, when we talk about personal development and things like that you, you because you see you're still learning the basics that's what I'm saying even after a year a year probably like I would say try to start figuring out what's gonna develop you if we're talking like the more higher level stuff after a little while in the industry where with a few at least a few more years the thing that I argue to you is that you should focus on finding a company that uses relevant tools that's something that you can do the reason why I say that is because as I was saying you are still learning the basics which means that during this time period of being a junior but still being a, let's call it an experienced junior you now have a chance to actually get familiar with a lot of the more like the modern practices and the modern tooling and things like that and you should get as much exposure as you humanly can to these relevant tools because these are like the years that you have right now those are the years that are setting you up for a long-term career because IT keeps on moving and the people who were in IT five ten years like they started getting in the in IT five ten twenty years ago like they also have to continue forward so you're starting at like you're starting at the head of the committee and 
there's going to be more. The head is going to move, and you should try to follow along as best as you, best as you can. So by simply focusing on job postings and companies who have a relevant tech stack, you are going to get personal development because you are guaranteed to get personal development because after one year it is impossible for you to know all the tools that are required to be a professional software developer so well that there's nothing more for you to pick up or like I mean within reason of course I mean nobody's ever going to learn all of it but there is like I like to call the sweet spot where you know so much that it's you are considered to be a a senior software developer or someone who has uh, you don't really need to learn all that much more you look up things you don't know but for the most part you can just kind of do the job right so by simply focusing on the tools that's gonna uh, that's going to guarantee you personal development the second thing is yes focus on getting co-workers focus on getting a team that you can work with uh, because it's going to be the best possible thing for your personal development. Every it is the one thing every software developer should try to acquire, reg almost regardless of what you do, uh, what uh, like what stack you have, or where you live, or uh, what, if you can only choose one thing, choose that thing. Having a good team with uh, decent coworkers around you with a little bit more experience than you, even the language, like fuck everything else, that is the best thing that you can get. So what I want you to take away from this is that there isn't really much you can do to research if a company is going to be a good learning opportunity for you unless you really know what you're looking for. Usually that's going to take you a little while. I mean, you, you know yourself the best. So I will usually say that, I mean, even I do this, guys. It, whenever you start at a job, you don't really know who you're going to work with until you've gone through basically the entire pipeline and you have met the team and even then it's, it's kind of awkward and you have all these interviews and so forth but you don't really get to know people until you're in so why I always what I try to say is that always focus on the tools first and foremost think of it as sort of as going on a first date with someone I mean it's shallow in the beginning you can, might if you know nothing about the person or if you're doing the tinder thing or whatever you usually go on looks or something there's something that hooks you and for us software developers one of the best things when especially we have so little experience is to just focus on the tools that's the that's the the shallow thing because uh, in these early days it's more important for you to get as much practice as possible with those tools than to try to find a company that is going to teach you a lot of management things or higher like architecture like these more complicated things that are much more senior level so get those basics in place first second thing is always try to find a place of work where you can work as part of, as part of a team because if you have one year of experience or two years I would even go as far to say three years all the odds of you being ready to take on uh, to, to and not be able to find a place of work where you're going to develop as much is fairly low any job in a team where you have developers who have worked for five or more years is going to develop you I can basically promise you that have a great day